Microsoft's xCloud is set to bring Xbox One game streaming to your Android and iOS devices as an outright rival to Google Stadia. We've been testing out the xCloud preview to give you our hands-on impressions and just how does it stack up? Thanks for watching 95 Google on YouTube. Be sure to thumbs up, hit subscribe and then enable notifications with the bell icon so that you don't miss any of our upcoming videos. Okay, so to get the most out of xCloud, you'll need a couple of things. First, an Xbox One gamepad and ideally a smartphone clip. Microsoft themselves even suggest this and we do too, as otherwise you'll have to prop your phone or tablet up to game comfortably. And without doing so, it is a little bit frustrating and uncomfortable. You'll also need a solid network connection, be that mobile data or Wi-Fi. I'm lucky in that I have a pretty solid connection, but the baseline is around about 10 megabits per second, the same as you'd need to experience Netflix in HD. Microsoft also recommends a 5 gigahertz Wi-Fi connection for the most stable experience. 2.4 gigahertz will work, but you might not get the most consistent gaming experience. So with the essentials out of the way, let's chat about the interface because once you've synced up your smartphone, tied up your gamepad and signed into xCloud, you'll hit the main dashboard and it's one of the things you'll see the most. There are over 50 titles to choose from in a nice easy to follow layout that makes the whole experience neater and cleaner. I'd call it a little basic but it's more than enough to choose a title you know and love like Gears 5, Halo or Forza. We're sure that over time the interface will develop and likely feel more cohesive with the Xbox dashboard, but for now it's pretty basic and it is no frills. Launching into a game does take a little while, sometimes up to a minute or even longer when you hit an unskippable loading screen, and I had hoped that being in the cloud meant that load times would be a little quicker. They are about though what you'd expect from your console. We're told that Microsoft has titles optimized at 720p, which doesn't always translate as well to your smartphone as the screen adjusts to 16x9 and it makes certain menus very small and difficult to read. Some titles do allow you to adjust for size, but for the most part you might be squinting to select game modes and more. That said, once you're in a game and on a stable connection, the graphics are impressive, as is the fluidity. So long as your connection remains stable, the gameplay and latency is not that noticeable. However, if you do hit a rough patch, games become unplayable as you'd expect from any cloud gaming service. In single player titles, that isn't too much of a problem because you can pause and it might not mean the end of the game. Multiplayer though is a different story. Luckily, I played some Gears of War 5 and the connection was superb. It was smooth, the frame rate didn't appear to drop below that 30 barrier and I must admit it was an exceptional experience. I did have more problems though with Halo as it would often not let me join matches and the matchmaking would have issues and then in some game modes I'd get tiny snippets where my controller movements would be missed or wouldn't register at all and that really does whip you out of the immersion and obviously ruins the xCloud experience. What I will say though is that every game is a little bit different, most are absolutely fine, Forza is another excellent example but one easy way to tell if you're going to get lag is the in-game audio. It might pause or skip slightly, which indicates you're going to get a little bit of increased latency. At this stage of the preview, the problems are not major, and around about 90% of the time it was absolutely perfect. Even at this early stage of the preview, xCloud does offer mobile data game streaming, and it works to an extent. My connection isn't good enough to use where I live, which brings about all kinds of lag and games were basically unplayable, Microsoft though are working to optimise gaming on a data connection with two mobile in the US and Vodafone in the UK. Hopefully that's somewhere that they can improve over time. Although xCloud is still in preview, I must admit I've been very impressed with the entire service and it has me excited for what cloud gaming brings in the future and then right around the corner, Google Stadia. Of course, this isn't an extensive review, just a quick hands-on with the xCloud preview to better understand what you can expect. I think even at this early stage it's really promising and with that game library set to balloon to over 3000, xCloud could be the cloud gaming service to beat if priced correctly. Obviously we still have Stadia to come and your mileage may vary depending on those mitigating factors such as connection, distance to data center 